Previously on La La Loopsy Popular. I'm feeling much better today. Were you really sick or not? I don't know if you think the same about me or not, but there's no harm in asking, right? I've liked you for ages. Hi, welcome. Would you like a table for two? Amanda, you can come and sit with us if you want. No offense to Matilda, but it's kind of boring without you. I just need to get something out here. I know about Jack. It's okay. I'm over him. Like, 100%. Is this a date? Do you want to be? Thank you. For everything. She's so fake. She's practically turned to Tia. One moment she likes Jack, the next she likes Liam, then she likes them both. Then when she chooses to break up with Jack, suddenly she wants him back again and gets all upset. What do we actually like about her? Nothing. Why can't she just move back to her old school? I mean, nobody here actually likes her. I know I made the right choice. Or did Holly make it for me? I just can't help feeling like I've done something really bad. You just woke up your sister. I'm sorry, her son made me acknowledge my existence for once. Do you even care how long I spend trying to get her ready for bed? I I thought not. The amount of times I tell you to be quiet when you come into the house, and the amount of times you ignore me are nobody's business. Sorry. What happened to your earring? Um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. But you really are careless. Mom, I'm sorry. They were ugly anyway. Well, it's about time you wore those ones I got you for your birthday. They are from Tiffany and Co, after all. I don't spend that much money for them to just sit on a shelf doing nothing. Um, okay. They are kind of big for school. They're diamonds. The whole point is that people see them. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to try and get Libby back to sleep. This time, please be quiet. I could do without any more problems. There's a panini in the oven if you're hungry. Thanks. One of these days, she won't ignore everything I say and maybe remember that she has two daughters, not one. She hasn't even given me a chance to tell her about my day. She probably doesn't care anyway. All she cares about is Libby. I might as well not exist. leaving crumbs. She doesn't notice them anyway. Throwing him in my food and throwing up. I don't care if I put off weight. I just want to go back to being normal, but I can't. Oh my god, there's Tia. T 
you know what you did with Dan? Ugh, yeah, what a cheater. Better not get too close. I heard she has a weird mouth disease. Yeah, she might try and contaminate us like she did to Dan. Ooh. Yeah, she's disgusting. What's everyone saying about Tia? I sit next to her in geography and she's pretty nice. She can be a little bossy sometimes, but you know, everyone is. Do you know what she did? Um, I don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. She cheated on Liam with Dan. She kissed him in the school storage room because she hadn't done her math homework and she wanted him to do it for her. Really? That doesn't sound like something she'd do. Yeah, but it's true. There's a video of her doing it. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god, she's unbelievable. I know. Like, why would someone even do that? Oh my god, they just leave me alone. It's not like it affects them or anything. She's so messed up. Look who it is. Let's hope she doesn't set off the skank alarm. <laughs> uh, hey, are you okay? Why do you care? Because I'm pretty mad at Liam too. I'm not one for having an unpopular opinion, but I think the Liam definitely deserves what you did to him. <laughs> You're the first one to say that. Double standards are stupid. Liam basically cheated on you too, but everyone's rallying around him and Amber like they're saints. Yeah. Come on, let's get away from everyone. You shouldn't listen to them. You're not the one being called Mayor of Slutsville. It's pretty hard to ignore. I know, believe me, I've had something pretty similar happen to me. But they're just making things up to entertain themselves. They have nothing better to do. As soon as the next breakup or fight comes along, this will all blow over. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, I don't believe a word they say. And you shouldn't either. <laughs> do you want to skip? <laughs> Sounds fun. Okay. <laughs> And she asked me to go on a date with Holly. I can't believe that girl. Okay, she's definitely weird. I know. I just can't believe how Liam was planning to go after Amber straight after we broke up. And when you and Amber were still together. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I thought he was my friend, but really, he's just a dumb liar who thinks he can get any girl he throws himself at. So true. Do you know what would be fun? What? Revenge. Oh, that definitely sounds fun. We're probably gonna get into a world of trouble though. It's not like we're putting a tack in the teacher's chair. Nobody has to see, apart from Amber. And maybe Liam. Do they have a secret makeout spot on the field that we can accidentally walk past? Not yet, I don't think. Where did you get that idea? Uh, nowhere. You and Liam were a really weird couple. Speak for yourself. So, what kind of revenge are you thinking of? This is going to sound crazy. Although everyone thinks I'm crazy, so it doesn't really matter. Crazy isn't always a bad thing. I'm kind of crazy myself. I dated Amber. What more can I say? Speaking of dating, are you a good actor? I don't know. I've been told I am. What if we pretended we were dating? I mean, they'd obviously be jealous. They're not over us. You know, we could talk and, uh... No offense, but I don't think it's gonna work. Why not? We can't just pretend we're dating. They might not hear us. Well, what do you suggest? You're not gonna like this. Something along the lines of... The way you do your math at work.
for letting me sit with you today. Anytime. Now tell me that wasn't a little more fun than sitting with Holly and co. <laughs> Are you getting the bus tonight? Oh, no, it was just a one-off thing. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, sorry. Well, we should get going. But you can sit with us all the time if you want. It was getting pretty boring without you. Thanks. I might take you up on that offer sometime. See you tomorrow. Bye. Buckle up, everybody. We'll be leaving in five minutes. Are you sure she's going to see us? I'm positive. She always said she likes to sit by the window, and we saw her coming here. What's the saying? Once a window seat, always a window seat? I don't think I've heard that one yet. Well, now you have. So nobody else is going to see us, right? I'm sure. Amelia told me that the only other girl on the bus always falls asleep. Either way, she's going to be angry. Really angry. And even angrier, she thinks it was fake. Is Liam going to find out? I'm not sure. She might tell him, but then he'd realize that she's not over you, so I guess it'd kind of be a lose-lose situation. And if he did find out, then I don't know if he feels anything for me or not, but whatever he does feel, it's going to come back. I would feel guilty, but just think of what she's done to both of us. <laughs> I don't feel guilty. That was pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. 